Burdened with the knowledge of a future Phyrexian invasion, the planeswalker Urza took it upon himself to prepare defenses for his home plane of Dominaria. Some of these preparations included the founding of the Telerian Academy, the creation of the skyship Weatherlight, and the birth of a race of blue-skinned humanoids that Urza himself would dub the Metathran. Created as part of Urza's highly controversial bloodline project, and named in honor of a long-dead civilization, the Metathran were designed as the ideal frontline troops in the oncoming conflict. They were designed to be stronger, faster, and smarter than baseline humans, yet were also unwaveringly obedient and suited for combat. Urza's artificial race would become one of the greatest defenses the Planeswalker established for his home. When the Bloodline project began, it was intended as a way to create a champion for the people of Dominaria, as well as an individual capable of wielding Urza's masterpiece, the Legacy Weapon, against Phyrexia. This was done by manipulating the marriages between Dominarian families, attempting to strengthen their connection to White Mana between each generation, refining and enhancing them as they went until a single, perfect individual could be born. As this project developed, Urza would realize that one lone individual would not be enough to stop the oncoming tide, and so he set out to create a genetically superior army, one forged through artifice and genetic manipulation. He would gather from around Dominaria the finest genetic stock and through careful manipulation and magical infusion, the foundation of his artificial race would be laid down. However, not all of Urza's allies would be happy with this new stage of the project. Telerian researchers were already raising ethical questions regarding the manipulation of bloodlines as a whole, but when Urza began creating biologically manipulated life, it proved too much for many of them, and so several researchers would quit the project entirely. Not even Baron, one of Urza's closest allies, was content with this new development. As more and more researchers abandoned the project, less ethical men, such as Gotha, would remain, performing horrifying unauthorized experiments. While Gotha would be expelled from Talaria as a result of his work, this would prove disastrous, as he would continue his experiments in Kel, creating a champion, Krieg, who would become mighty enough to be noticed by the Phyrexians, the very enemy the Bloodline Project was designed to combat. Once they realized what was happening, the Phyrexians launched a surprise assault against many of the locations they believed were being used to house the Bloodline's project. Although many lives would be lost in the conflict, and the project itself was almost completely wiped out, Gerard Capuchin, the culmination of the endeavor, would survive and go on to become the savior of Dominaria that Urza intended him to be. As for the Metathran themselves, they would go undisturbed and unnoticed by the Phyrexians at large, as they were safely stored away in stasis, hidden inside fast time bubbles until a time would come where they would be needed. That time would be at the onset of the Phyrexian invasion, where the Metathran were awakened to serve as the frontline troops against the invaders for much of the war. The artificial race would prove invaluable and helped the Dominarian coalition gain many important victories. Yet, despite their great success and the success of the Bloodline project as a whole, no Metathran would survive long after the war. The Metathran were tall, blue-skinned, and lanky. The race was designed to be stronger than most humans, with faster reaction times, and were bred to be tactically inclined. Though they still had to be trained, the Metathran found that combat and war came to them as naturally as flight comes to a raven. While the Metathran as a race all appeared male, they were in fact without gender, as Urza created them for the sole purpose of fighting in his war against Phyrexia. This, naturally, led to the complete extinction of the race after Urza's death, as with no way of breeding and with no master to create more, 
the Metathran had no way of propagation. Only two truly notable Metathran existed, Thaddeus and Agnate, a pair of twins that were created to act as the commanders of their race. The twins shared a psychic connection with one another that allowed them to perform as commanders even greater than they would have been otherwise. There have been only eight cards printed with the Metathran creature type. While all have been blue creatures, they lack a clear mechanical identity, which makes it difficult for fans of one of Urza's greatest creations to build a strong and flavorful tribal deck featuring them. As the entire race is extinct, and no new Metathran cards have been printed since the Apocalypse expansion in 2001, the chances of more Metathran being seen in Magic's future are slim. Perhaps in a supplemental product, or in a Commander Precon deck, more can see print. But for now, the Metathran will remain as memories of one of the greatest battles in the entire history of Dominaria, and of Magic as a whole. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, or share this video with your friends. And don't be afraid to subscribe and click that little bell notification. It really does help me out a lot when you do.